In this video, I'm going to show you how to code your, recode your variable names in Quilterix and um, your very, your response category codes. Um, essentially, you see here that I have the word job here. Well, this one says Q3. Q3 is what it shows by default over Q1, Q2, Q3, and so forth in the order in which you created the question, not the order in which um, they appear in the survey because you may have moved them around later. So if I have, if I create question one, question two, question three, they'll be labeled Q1, Q2, Q3, regardless of whether I reorder them and so forth. Okay. And if I delete a question out, that, then, you know, quick Q3 out, then the next one I put in will be Q4. It's not going to use that Q3 again. However, um, I can change these and often I want to change these because if I do, then it comes out of um, Qualtrics when I download the data using that actual variable name. So if I download a spreadsheet with all my data in it, the column header for that spreadsheet, the first row is going to say gender at the top instead of Q3. And that can be really, really nice, save you time later um, in terms of creating variable names that make sense. So that's something that I find that's, that's really very helpful. If I have um, uh, like a liquor type scale, and this is one that I started here as a demonstration, my overview video, which you can see on my playlist. Um, this one I named the variable desserts. Because I have a variety of, of statements here, it's going to come out as the columns with the data in R come out desserts underscore one, desserts underscore two, desserts underscore three, and so forth, which I think is really a convenient way to, to label those variables, okay? So that's the first thing to be aware of. I think it's something that's not, I mean, it's not essential. It's a nice thing, but it's not something you have to do. Now, let's say that um, what I want to do by default, it's going to come out with um, male as a one, female as a two, nine binary as a three, and self-described as a four. It's going to do that by default here. Um, anytime that you have uh, multiple choice on options, whether it's just a simple multiple choice question like that, or is in a matrix table like this, the first option is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so forth. It's the way that it is coded. Okay, so let's suppose that I want to change that coding. Now, of course, you can always do it afterwards in other software, but if I want to change it, I'm going to scroll down on the left where I've got these various options, you see I've got this recode values here, okay? So if I click on that, it shows me what those codes are going to be. I'm going to click on it, and I can change them to be whatever I want. Let's suppose that I want female to be my baseline group. They're going to be a zero. Male's one, and I'm going to put these as both twos because they're going to be um, combined together for analysis. This is just for um, the user's comfort. Okay, now is it going to let me do that? Okay, yep, yeah, let me go ahead and do it. And if I click on it, you see that it's got that. And so I don't probably want to code these the same coming out the same because I lose information in my data set. I probably want to keep those separate. But if I wanted to combine them at this point, in other words, collapse or combine these categories for analysis, I could actually do that and have the data come out that particular way. Okay. Um, if I click on this again, the recode values, click on variable naming. It's going to let me come over here and change these. That's not really necessary um, because it gives them to me. I can do it just within this over here. Okay, so that's recoding my, my basic um, response categories. I can do it with this type of a thing. If I click on here, scroll down on these matrices, recode variables, okay, then I'm going to click on recode va values and I can again go in and change these here, okay. If I put in variable naming, it's going to let me change these category names at the same time if I want to do that, okay. The export, question export tags tells me because I remember I named this variable des desserts under, it was going to do under desserts underscore one underscore two underscore three. I can actually change that here if I want to. 
So that I have quite a few options as far as how to change what my output's going to look like. And that may be convenient. It's just helpful. Um, so you have to do less cleanup after you've downloaded your data set.